taking now, right now. It has been put down. Everything has been laid down. If I call you to come and work in my company, and I say that this company that we are coming to work, we are going to suffer, will you come? No. As they approached the village to which they were, they were going, Jesus answered as if he were going further. But they asked him strongly, Stay with us. This is where I want us to come. We are going to invite Jesus into our life. He was passing somewhere, he was going with some group of people. And then, as they uh, walked towards a certain village, they were going and they invited him to come and stay with us. Today, he says, we'll come and stay with you. Amen. As you die with you, all the inequities, all the iniquities, everything will be punished. Amen. Amen. Go on. Stay with us. Stay with us. For it is nearly evening. For it is nearly evening. The day is almost over. Mm -hmm. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks. No, wait there. They were sitting somewhere. They were sitting around a certain table. It's my prayer that you come and sit around the table. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you see how important it is? They were sitting around a table after his death. And he himself revealed himself to them and they invite him. Jesus can reveal himself to you, but if they never invite you, you will never come. That's why some people see which in my life, in my life I've seen Jesus myself. He reveal himself to me in my dream, but if you don't invite him. Praise the Lord. Amen. Today we are going to invite him. No. He took bread. He took bread. When you invite him, he will eat with you. He said, I'm standing before the door, knocking. If anybody will open the door. So it's you. You have the authority to open the door or shut the door. Today go. Today is my prayer that you open the door. Amen. Go on. Broke it and began to give it to them. Broke the bread. Then their eyes were open and they Amen. recognized him. Something open there. Why open? Yes. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. We need you every day. Shall we go on our feet and come forward? We need you every day. Just five minutes, please. Come forward. Come from your seat. No, you don't know how to sing this song.
Now they were walking towards a certain city. Let's say Jesus is here in turn out. Will you invite him into your house? He revealed himself to the whole people here in turn out. Will you invite him into your house? And when he comes into your house, will you invite him into your heart? We are going to pray once again that if Jesus is passing through today in this town, your house will be the location where Jesus will come and dwell. Hope you are for prayer. Pray and pray very serious. Look at Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus, they will have been setting before us. And as we pray now, we open our hearts. I surrender to you. I surrender to you. I surrender to you. As someone who knows nothing, I am an eternal person. But today I want to be revived. I want to be revived. I want to be revived once again. I want to be revived once again. Touch my life. 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 My doors have been open. My doors have been open. And I invite you to come and die with me in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Look up at my daily and Lagaba. Lika Buska Kayane. Lika Baya. Lika Turi and Lilabaya. And they must say, Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. You are my master. Yes, Lord Jesus. Kiss her to me and say to Jesus. It's a beautiful place. This prayer that you are going to pray. After Jesus has done with them, their eyes open. Their eyes open. Today, your eyes is going to open. Amen. Open to see the spiritual things. Amen. Your eyes will be open to understand the biblical contents, the real gospel. As you lift up your hands, means you are surrendering to Christ. You can't do it yourself. But if you open your eyes, you can do them. So now be a for you. Father, open your eyes. Jesus, open the eyes of your people. You are sending them to this world, the dark world. God, we want our spiritual eyes to be open. So that wherever there is darkness, when we go there, there will be light. We pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we believe you. That as we stand with you today, you will open our understanding. You give us a spiritual eye. You will open our eyes. You will open our eyes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Call up a shatter. Ali come here. In the name of Jesus. Leave us for the glory of the Lord. Let us pray. Open our eyes. God, open our eyes. God, open our eyes. God, open our eyes. This is all what we need.
take part. He said, when Jesus died with them, their eyes open and they say, there are so many miraculous teachings in this world. So many things are going on in this world. If you are not careful, you will swing away. People who walk with Jesus without knowing he is Jesus. They sat on the table without knowing what was Jesus until they die with him. The moment they die with him, their eyes open and they saw Jesus. Who is here that you want to know? You want to see Jesus. If you want to see Jesus, let me see your hands up. God bless you. From your heart, from what, how far you have raised up your hands, God will reveal himself to you. And not just will he reveal himself to you, you will know him. You will know him. You will know him. We are going to pray that we are in a dark world. That whatever you and I will step, there will be light. People will see Christ in this. People who understand the gospel, people who follow the opinion of our prayer, you will be the light of the world. You will be the light among your peers. You will be the light in the world wherever you go, every city you walk. Everything that you do in your life, people will recognize Jesus in you. I want you to pray that today you will be a different person. As long as you are going to come with our Lord Jesus Christ, our eyes is going to open. Our eyes are going to be open. And then we understand in this. We know the reason why he begot us. Why he has called us. Why he has been begot us. We have to attack the enemy and we have to attack the enemy. He never called us here for action. He will never regret us here. He is calling us for special action. He is ready for us. Every time we call him, he will come in our life. And hundred percent sure, we are confident in him. We are hoping in him. We are praising him that whatever he has done, he will do it. Thank you, Jesus. My God, who began it?